Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Dr. Mike TV show. I am your host, the good doc, Dr. Mike TV. Back again, once again, instant classic in the make. And today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to mince words. I want to talk about sex. More specifically, sex in the Philippines. More specifically, the lack of sex education in the Philippines. How it's kind of led to overpopulation and probably a lot of other economic issues that are facing and plaguing the Philippines today. Now, I took sex education here in the United States when I was a freshman, freshman in high school, right? They talk to you about the difference between penises and vaginas, and they talk about all the parts that make up the vagina, and they talk about all the parts that make up your penis. But one particular thing that they talked about in sex education is the reason why you should wear condoms, right? prevents sexually transmitted diseases usually it is effective against pregnancy and things like that now as i've grown to become a little bit more mature in life and again i hope that you will allow me to have this candid conversation all things considering we've already gotten into it one thing that i've noticed is there's a lack of sex education in the philippines more specifically filipinos really i honestly don't think they know and or understand why they should even be using condoms now i want to paint this picture for you real quick doc i didn't get around like that but let's just say that i was a man and i acted on natural human instinct in relation to the physiological need of engaging in the physical act of getting it in aka ladies and gentlemen hey i had sex i can honestly tell you I can honestly tell you, and I think a lot of other foreigners and a lot of men in general, if you've ever been to the Philippines, I think you can actually vouch for this. I can count on, no, actually I can't even count. I can honestly never, ever remember a woman, Filipina, ever asking me about putting on a condom. Not one, not one woman I have ever dealt with in the Philippines ever asked me to put one on. Now, me being a thinking man, me being a young man at that time going to college and, you know, trying to live my best life but not trying to get any women pregnant, I took it upon myself to put one on. But I can honestly remember sharing this story with you guys. But you may not remember it. But let me let me divulge a little um a little uh expose myself just a little bit here if you will allow me to do so. But I can remember one time where oh, everything was about to go down and a woman actually got upset with me because I wanted to put one on. I think she kind of felt as if me putting on the condom made her look bad, made her feel bad, made her feel like she was dirty. Like the reason I was putting it on was because I didn't trust her. I didn't trust her to be clean. I didn't trust her to be this. I didn't trust her to be that. That was her general psychology around me putting on the condom. I had to explain, baby girl, not trying to have no kids, you know, and I'm trying to protect you. Nah, she always looked at it as if, no, you think I'm dirty. You think I'm like the rest of these other hoes in the Philippines. No, she was really genuinely upset about me wanting to protect her right you know not trying to give her kids and stuff like that but you'll start to understand that this psychology lives amongst quite a few filipinas this isn't something that is you know pick and choose maybe one every now and again will have that thought process this is one that is general standard across the board now i understand ladies i do Filipinas, listen to me. I understand. I understand this completely. Please allow me to be candid, all right? And when I say that, y'all know I'm about to get into some shit, right? Allow me to be candid. I know that when the condom dries out, ladies and gentlemen, it could hurt. I, I understand that. Like, if we getting it in and we getting it in and and and, 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 and the wop gets a little dry, <laughs> let me stop. But I understand, like, when the when it when it's not as wet as it was when we started getting it in, or, you know, the doc trying to put in some serious work, it could dry out. And as a result, putting on the condom, it starts to stick to the walls and shit. That's uncomfortable. Shit, it's uncomfortable for me. 
Because do you, never mind, <laughs> right? All the dragging and pushing and trudging, it's like fucking mud. Just trying to just walk through thick ass mud. It's hard to, you know, get it in like that. I get it. So I understand if it's hurting me, it's hurting you. But ultimately, they, they've produced products that could help you with that. A little something called lube, KY jelly. Y'all ain't never heard of that shit, <laughs> right? But I understand that there are somewhat even a negative thought about the use of condoms in the Philippines. I don't know if it has anything to do with religion, but I'm starting to believe. And I do remember distinctly hearing something about not necessarily being based on the reason why they don't use it being strictly based on something that's religious based about the idea of you know if you're engaging in sexual activities i mean condoms are not using something like that again i'm not saying that it's by the bible or anything like that but i have heard that it seems that it goes against some people's belief to you know if you're going to engage in sexual acts and whatever, I, maybe it's with somebody you love or somebody that could potentially be a husband or whatever. So there's no need to use it or something along those lines. Stock may have those words extremely fucked up, but don't hold my hand to the flame on it. All I can say is this. Condoms are seemingly taboo in the Philippines. And I don't know why. I don't know why. In the United States, man, <laughs> I mean, it's hit and miss. You know, I, I get it. But at least we know of its existence and we know why they exist. In the Philippines, it's almost as if condoms are foreign. Now, I'm not sitting there telling you that they don't know about condoms or that they're so far behind that condoms are something that is like, again, a foreign concept to them. Of course, they know about condoms. They just don't want to use them. Honestly, I think the only young ladies who utilize condoms, participate, and or are part of a particular industry. If you need me to tell you what that industry is, Leave it in the comment section below and I will be glad to further indulge that conversation. But those that work in a particular industry are good about using condoms because they know that if they are frequently engaging in sexual activity, it is to their benefit to protect themselves. See, a lot of them know that it's to protect themselves against others, not so much that they're viewed as dirty or whatever it is, or that, you know, a foreigner or somebody's viewing them as dirty, especially if they're the ones carrying around the condoms in their pocket, right? Or in their purses or whatever. But I kind of feel like this particular lack of understanding of the benefits of condoms, and I know this sounds crazy, is detrimental because it has led to some serious overpopulation in the country, right? I can honestly say that I've never met so many single mothers in my life than when I was in the Philippines. I think the only other race of women that produce single mothers at such a rate as Filipinas would be those that represent my community, the African American community. And again, it's not a disrespectful point. It's just a point that needs to be made. Okay. They produce a lot of single mothers in my community and also in the Philippines. I mean, you'll have a woman who will have two or three kids, right? By themselves in the, in the United States, women that make up my particular culture could be the exact same thing. But I do believe there is one thing that separates most Filipina single mothers, not all, but most Filipinos, Filipina single mothers and that that represent the African-American community, African-American women. Most of the time, again, most of the time, across the board, most of the time in the Philippine community or when Filipinas are single mothers, they generally all have the same father. For the most part, not all the time, but for the most part, they have all the same fathers, which is kind of adverse to, you know, sometimes the women that make up my own community where there may be multiple men involved in being the father of the kids that she has. You feel me? But I digress when I get into that topic of conversation. You know, that's not where this is going. But what I'm getting at is the simple fact that I do believe that condoms are taboo in the Philippines. Like, it's 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 something that I have never seen before. But it's something that's very eye-opening. Now, what does that mean for us as foreigners? <laughs> you could get trapped. We talked about that before. Not always, but you could get trapped in all of that. That's number one. Number two, there's always going to be a high potential chance that if you engage in sexual activities without wrapping it up, that you could 
potentially get a woman pregnant, even if you're not trying. Filipinas are some of the most fertile women I have ever seen in my life. Filipinas, I repeat, are some of the most fertile women I have ever seen in my life. Ever seen in my life. You know what I mean? But you'll start to learn and you'll start to understand that this is just who they are. This is, I guess, that's just their makeup, right? And it's something that when you're aware of it, you start to take the necessary steps accordingly to prevent certain things from happening. I would hope that you would. But even if Filipinas do kind of view condoms as taboo, the beautiful part about it all is I see... How can I say this in the right way? Doc's losing his train of thought. Let me digress. Let me let me back up a little bit. Um, and I'm going to end it with this because I don't want to get to that topic of conversation just yet. What I do know most about Filipino women is this. They will naturally engage in the act of and they will not require you to wear condoms. Right? Maybe it's the feel that sucks. Maybe they're just not into it. And here's what I was about to get to, gentlemen foreigners. Pay attention to this one. This is where things get a little iffy and a little sticky. I want y'all to hear my words verbatim. This was what I was about to say. A lot of us engage in unprotected sex with Filipinas because sometimes we believe the Filipina that we're engaging in this particular act with is not promiscuous by nature. So because we do not believe that this woman is promiscuous by nature, she doesn't have a lot of sexual partners, or we don't believe that she has a lot of sexual partners, we will not strap up. Not knowing that maybe, just maybe, the guy that she dealt with before you or the partner she had before you may have had multiple partners and could have passed something along to her. Maybe she's only dealt with one person prior to you, but that one person, who knows what they were like, right? So I always strap up based off of that particular thought process. Hey, I don't know who was with you before me, but let me tell you this, Pimpin. I would rather be safe than sorry, right? So gentlemen, that's the mindset you need to have. Granted, the woman herself may not seem like a promiscuous type or one that gets around. So you're like, why do I need to use a condom? I'm telling you right now. For your own sake, your own benefit, and your own peace of mind, I highly recommend that you just strap it up the first couple times, right? If you get a little comfortable, man, and you start to realize that, you know, you know, there's a lot of things that you could see in her that would allow you to trust in her decision-making abilities, you know what I'm saying, after the first couple times, right? Then maybe if you feel comfortable and your pullout game is awesome, you know, jump shot like Curry or some shit, <laughs> Splash Brothers, figuratively and literally, um... Then you, then you address it accordingly, right? I ain't gonna tell you what to do. But that's my time, ladies and gentlemen. But we here, baby. I appreciate y'all locking in, man. If you enjoyed this video, man, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Do all that good stuff, man. I'd highly appreciate this one. Right? This has been a good doc, doc to my TV. With that being said, the good doc is officially out. At least, Nako. Which means, I am going now. Bye bye. As always, love you guys. Sincerely do. Makita, mabuhay. Peace.